Hi guys and welcome back to Fish and Sim World Pro Tour. So after the last episode we extended our lead again in the overall championships we've now got 800 points. And let's prepare ourselves for the worst event in the whole season. It's the Baden Verdenberg Open and it's at Walsey. So let's pick our spot. I normally like the far left spot. I seem to have the most luck in this side anyway. Hello and welcome to the venue for the next event on the tour. While the competitors are getting ready... We're currently leading the Predator Tour just by three single points, so we need a lot of luck here to keep that lead going. Right, let's grab our peg and get fishing straight away and pray to the fishing gods that our luck is in today. So rods two and three with the roach head and the smelt head. I like to put them right next door to the little jetty area here. As close as you can get. Even try and get them actually under the little jetty if you can. Yeah, that one's a little bit further up. Uh, it's not too close. It'll do for now. And on the other rod, currently I've got swim bait roach. I'm trying something different in Wolsey. Hopefully it'll work today. I have tried this in the practice events. It was just slightly better than the ocean breeze. There wasn't a lot in it actually. But if it doesn't work, we'll just go back to that. I've got the speed set on two at the moment. I'll up to three. I'll even try twitching. I will literally try everything in this place. Whatever works on the day, that's what you go with. Right, let's go back to the left hand side. We'll try again. Oh, we got a bite. Which one is it? It's number two! Fantastic, wow! This is really early. I definitely cannot afford to lose this. And straight away I can see what it is, it's a catfish. This is probably going to take us a good minute and a half to reel in. Maybe even longer. I'm using 30 pound line, so got to hope that's going to be enough. Just slow and steady. Just keep going till we'll wear this guy out. And we're already down to 44th spot. The leaders 18.9 inches already. Ooh, thought we had him there. And he's stretching the length as well. Just let him go. Yeah, do not take any risks. Every fish counts at this event. And we got him. Right, let's have a look at him. Oh, it's a nice size. Please be massive. 49.39 inches. Oh, I don't believe it. Right, normally you only get one of them per event if you're lucky. If we're really lucky, we may get two. We've still got another 16 minutes to catch another one. Yeah, let's recast that. I wasn't happy with that. Try and get as close as you can. I think that's the best spot. As you can see, rod three, it starts drifting to the right-hand side, and eventually you've got to recast them and put them back under the little jetty area again. Right, let's wind number one in again. Yeah, and we struck out there. Right, before I do number one again, let's pick up number three. We'll reel it in and recast it. Try and get it again right next door to the jetty area. Eventually, when it does move to the right, it goes into the reeds area, and it's not the best thing for you. 
because I've got these, the hooks are the silt ones. I've upped the speed to three now. Hopefully it'll catch the eye of some predator. We're currently leading the event on 49 inches, but that, that lead will go pretty quickly unless we'll catch some more. I'm thinking we've got to get somewhere around 80, 90 inches if we're going to win this event. And we struck out again. So what I like to do, I like to start next to the jetty area, then I'll go around to the right hand side each time further a little bit to the right and then I'll start again on the left hand side and wait me around. That's what I normally like to do anyway. I'm already thinking should I change this lure? We're not even getting a sniff. It's such a hard lake you don't know if it's the lure, it's the dodgy lake, what? Maybe stick with it till about the 10 minute marker, then I'll change it then. Again, nothing. You wind it in so much quicker when you're doing a speed of three. Oh, we got a bite! Perfect strike! Yes! Oh, the heart's racing. Ooh. Right, chill it out. Come on, dude, you can do it. We must catch this guy. He's really moving. I wonder what this could be. Maybe a trout, a zander, something like that. Just starting to pull on the old line here. Oh, he's getting a little bit closer. Oh, thought I might have had him there. Um, did anybody get a glimpse to see what that was? Didn't look like a trout though. Maybe a Xander? Oh, again, he's getting so close. Come on, just get in my net. Right, this time we've got him. Fantastic. Right, what have we got? Yes, it's a Xander. It's a funny looking thing. Look at them teeth. 29.31 inches. Oh, that's two fish down. Right. We need one more fish. 78 inches, yeah. If we can get around 90 to 100, we'll definitely win the event. 78. Oh, it's right on the fence. I'd be very nervy coming into the last few minutes if we only had 78 inches. Yeah, since we had success on the old speed of three, I'll just keep it there. Granted, it is a little bit more work because you do reel it in so much quicker. Sometimes I wish we'd get longer rods for the Predator events and the Bass ones as well sometimes. Because, I mean, the carp rods, they can go up for like 100 yards. These things... You only get roughly 45, don't you? Are we going to get anything this time? I'm keeping an eye on seconds, but they're still on 38 inches. They're not closing the gap so far, but yeah, they've still got a good 11 minutes to catch up. I'll do a few more casts on this side and if we strike out, we'll go back to the left hand side where we've got the other rods. We'll have to check on them anyway because they're probably drifting anyway. They may need recasting as well. Oh, somebody's up to 57 inches now. Yeah, they're starting to really close that gap. Oh, damn it, I've done a miscast. Let's reel that back in and try again. Yep, yeah, 97%. That's a lot better. I 
as he approached the 10 minute marker i'm thinking should i change the lure this roach swim bait it's been pretty decent we have actually caught a fish which in this lake is brilliant but should we change up maybe good ocean breeze i'm pondering on it what do you guys think And we struck out again. Oh, damn it. Right. Maybe the last cast we might get one more in on this side before we go back to the left hand side. I do normally just stick to this spot of this lake. It's we've had the most success anyway. So I'm going to keep coming back here, aren't I? There is a spot on the right hand side, one of the pegs over there. You can get a bit of luck there, but I don't find it as good as this one. I think we're going to strike out here, aren't we? Oh, we're over halfway now. We've only got a 21 inch lead. That's absolutely nothing. One fish and we've lost the lead. I'm just praying to the fishing gods. Give me one more fish. Let me win this event for once. Oh, it's not looking good. I think we're going to strike out again. Yep. Right, definitely the last cast on this side now. Then we'll go to the left. You can see why everybody complains about this lake. It's just a desert. Even though there's water here, it's a desert when in fishing terms anyway. You just can't catch anything. Not in that 20 minute window anyway. We've been really lucky so far. We've got that catfish. Then we've got the Xander. Oh! Oh no! Somebody really teasing us there. I thought that was what I had a bite there. Yeah, we struck out here. Can I get one more on this? I think we can. Second spot, oh, Charlie Kennedy, he's up to 59 inches now. They're getting so close to us. Please, one more fish, let me catch one more fish. And another strikeout. Yeah, let's recast rods two and three. Look, see, they're in the reeds already. We've got seven minutes. Hopefully we'll get ourselves one more catfish. Maybe another Xander. Oh, you got a bite at number three. Right. Oh, I can't believe this. I've never caught three fish at this event ever. And second spot, they're up to 65 inches now. They're right on our heels. Oh my word, what's going on? We've got a bite on number two as well. I don't believe it. This I've never had this happen at this lake, ever. Oh, I hope we can stay there for a minute and a half. That's what it's going to take. I'm guessing this is a catfish. Let's get a bit closer. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. So it's a good minute and a half. We're going to have to keep that other guy on the line. It'll be really lucky if he's still there after that time. Pull on the line just a little bit. I'm not taking any risks. Just got to reel this guy in. If we can get him, we'll win this event. It'll put us over the 100 inch mark easily. I've caught quite a few named catfish out of this lake. I even caught a rud as well. It would be nice to get a name. We haven't caught one for quite a while now. We've been on a minute and a half now, so hopefully we should get him pretty soon. Oh, 
Oh, he's so close to us now. Nope, he's going around once more. Right, that's two minutes now we've been reeling this guy in. Come on, dude, give up the ghost. And there we go. Wow, just over two minutes to reel this guy in. Let's have a look at the size of him. Oh, he's a nice one. 54.9 inches. Yes, and we've dinged level 78 as well. But more importantly, that should win us the event. 133 inches, yep, yeah, easily. Let's get this back in the water. And unbelievably, number two is still on the go. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? It was on the hook for two minutes. No, that's not fair. Yeah, let's reel number two back in. We'll get it right next to the jetty again. I don't really have much success away from it anyway. We've only got four minutes to go, but yeah, we should win this event. Unbelievably, we should win this event, guys. I've never caught this much fish ever at this lake. Not in the 20 minutes anyway. Normally I can get to, I think, about 90 inches. I've caught two catfish before in the total of the 90, but with that little Xander as well, that pushes us well over the 100 mark. And it's just a fabulous day's fishing. If you remember, we were on 78 inches. I mean, look at second spot now. They're now on 75. So you're literally going to be biting your fingernails for three and a half minutes. Praying they don't get that extra three inches on the old fish. Third spot's up to 73. Yeah, we wouldn't have survived on 78 inches at all. 79, we've probably lost the lead already, haven't we? Just over three minutes left now, guys. I wonder if we can catch anything else. I'm being super greedy now. <laughs> Whoa, that's not even in the lake. Can I wind that in? Oh, I can. That took quite a while before the lure was even moving. We must have had loads of line on the go there. Oh, what's going on? We got a bite. Number two. What time we got? Two and a half minutes. Ooh, this is going to be really pushing it if it's another catfish. And second and third spot, 86 inches, 84 inches. So yeah, I was right. That 78 inches, it wouldn't have won us the event. But thankfully, it doesn't matter. Right, we just got two minutes now to reel this guy in. Let's have a look, see what it is. Don't think that's a catfish. Is that another Xander? Oh, wow. I've never caught a Xander with a roach head before. Have we got him? We have! Wow. That didn't take long. No, it's a pike, you fool. Here's me getting all excited about another Xander. 21 inches. Wow. That has just smashed our fishing today. 154.7 inches. I've put number two back in the water. I don't know why. We won't catch anything. Not at one minute anyway. We're really lucky we might get something on this little line here, but even a minute, I'm not sure we'll have enough time to reel it in. I'm just curious now to see what second and third spot do. Will they go over the 90 inch mark? So it gives you hope if you can catch two decent sized catfish 
you could win this event. Yeah, I think we're going to strike out here. We've only got 20 seconds to go. Who cares? We're going to win. Do one more cast, I think, and that'll be time up. Ah, that's it. We're done. Finally, finally, I've won this event. Somehow I managed to catch four fish, two catfish, a Xander, and a northern pike. Oh, the sheer relief. Right, guys, I've had a lot of fun today and a lot of success for a change. So please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time for some more Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. Bye, guys.